Hey, orange one here. So I wanted to go over today how to do hacking in Cyberpunk. It's um, it's pretty important to be able to hack these things called access points. The generic one looks like this, but there's other things like that computer right there that's an access point. So these things, they, I mean, they tell you like if you scan them that they give you intelligence. So the actions, like you can do those actions on it. So that's kind of like that little symbol underneath access point and right by connect. And that's also your skill. So if you look at like my character, um, I've got like 20 intelligence. So I can go up to 20 because it's 20 out of 20. So like skill checks in this game work based off of these. And for hacking, it just asks you like, what is your intelligence level compared to this? And if you're higher, then you can do this. So you can uh, jack in and do this mini game to get some uh, basically cash, as well as uh, components for quick hacks, as well as just straight up quick hacks themselves. So if you want to do hacking, you're going to need to do this to get access to that stuff. Um, couple perks that are relevant. If we go to the character, for actual data mining, you can use this to get more cash from your data mine, um, or components, or even um, get more quick hacks as well. So there's a number of things that you can do to get more rewards for this, as well as this right here, which will automatically label them or highlight them. So like when you walk into a room, you can see it. So the reason also that these things that I can see them is because I did so I scanned using tab and I have this thing called ping. I would highly recommend it. It will connect to all of the things on the network and you'll be able to see enemies. If it's higher, you can see them for longer. So this is how I look for these nodes. And then also, as you can see, they kind of appear on your map as you get close to them. But if you get further away from them, they kind of like disappear. Like your character like loses track of them or whatever. I don't fully know what, when or why it appears. All I know is that sometimes they do appear. And when you see that symbol, it's a good indication that you can hack it. There's other things as well that will like appear. Like these things will appear like on your map as well when you scan it. but. You can also do like a quick just like that and then you can see it. So, okay, let's actually do the hacking though. So this is actually kind of a high skill check, a level eight. Um, what I would recommend is you can see this is small, moderate and large. So what you want to do is go for the large one first, if you can. And I have a really good one. So you may be looking at this and be like, wait, you have a lot more buffer than I do. That's Sorry, one more thing before we actually do the hacking. That's because if you look at my cyberware, my operating system that I have is like super, super good. That buffer size is really useful. If I switch this out um, to something that's like a two buffer size, I think that's the default one. Um, or not, I think it's four actually. So you only have four slots. So you want to actually invest in better hacking operating systems because it'll give you more slots here to for the same numbers. So you have more chances essentially, and you will get more money. <laughs> so let's have a look and show you how this actually works. So 7A to BD, unfortunately. So basically you go across and then down. I'll just demonstrate this. So if I want to do this, if I hit that, that means that I'm, I've got my across and now I'm going down. And I can hit this and it's like, oh, well, now I don't have any one C's. So I'm kind of in a bad situation. You can always exit out. I think this is kind of like a bug, honestly. I don't, they're probably going to change that. But as it is currently, you can exit out anytime and it gives you a new one to work with. So if you're like, I don't like the ones that I got, you can just reload it. So it goes across, you always start at the top and it goes down and over. And you can plan this out. You can do like a really nice little plan. So you can do like, oh, I want to do, um, well, where's E9? Yeah, E9 is going to be kind of tricky to get on this. Probably could have done it. But yeah, if you run out of time before you finish it, it won't give you everything. 
But as you can see, I got some cash, I got some components, I got some good stuff. Also, sorry buddy, I'm just gonna hack you. I hope you don't mind. That's why you want to invest in hacking as well. That dude was a higher level than me. <laughs> um, and then there's these computers. Sometimes you'll have these items that will give you like multiple options. If you want to like use it as an if you just click F, it will let you jack in. And then if you hold down F, it'll actually use it like um, an item. But I'm gonna just jack. And let's see. So this is kind of, this is a pretty decent one because this ends on 1C and that one starts on 1C. And then, yeah, that one ends on BD. So if I wanted to, I could really plan this out nicely. Yeah. Um, but it takes a little bit of time as you can imagine. So like, for example, I just realized I could do this, this, and then I was gonna go here and get this BD, but then I, there's nowhere to go from that. So yeah. I mean, you can you can do it. Just not gonna get what I hoped to get. But then that worked out, you know. So you can, if you manage to get all three, kudos. That's that's pretty good. It's much tougher to do with the worst operating systems. Pretty easy to do with the operating system that I've got on though. Um, oh, also, I should probably show off one other aspect of this. There's. Um, one other thing, if you get them wrong, like if you do the wrong combo, it will reset it. I think you get one reset and then like, that's it. And I'll show you what I mean by like the reset. Um, okay. So if I do like 7A, 55, but then I don't do 55, I do a 1C, it'll reset it, but then I can, like, if I mess it up multiple times after I've started it, then sorry. Then you're done, right? Um, and then, see, I failed that one because I'd, I'd messed it up, I think, twice. So you, you don't want to, like, you can kind of, like, get them wrong and it's all right, but if you get them wrong multiple times, then it will fail. And I believe that might depend on the technology that you have, to be honest. Let's just try this again on this computer. I think it tells you you get like a certain number of mistakes or something. Oh, you definitely got a breach timer, so. But actually, I installed that one and it was okay. So I think, yeah. And like this one, that one, I'm gonna on purpose mess this up. So yeah, it seems to me like you can kind of mess them up, but if you mess them up multiple times in a row, then it's it's like you're done, right? Kind of thing. And then if you run out of slots, if you don't have enough slots to win it, I think it kicks you out as well. All right, so I think that's all of the stuff I want to cover with the hacking. Actually, one other thing that worth pointing, once you've activated one of them, if you exit out, that's all you get. So once you've got one of them locked down, then you can think of that as like it being done. So you can't do... Yeah, don't exit out if you've got one already in, <laughs> as you just saw there. Okay, now I'll see you later for reals.